Fourier analysis or Fourier analysis. In the uh, the last R is sometimes not spoken. It's Fourier analysis. See, I'll start with a very basic example. If you are learning, you are not understanding. You can ask your brother. You can ask your sister. Okay. Even if you are not understanding certain stuff, you can go to your tutor, and you will be able to understand. He may guide you. So the whole story for your analysis is that if at certain domain or certain place, for example, time domain, for example, we have different voltages, different currents. At T one, certain voltage is there. Some at time two, voltage has changed or the current has changed. So this is the time domain. Because at de depending upon time, the voltage is changing. If it is difficult to understand this in this scenario, for example, let us take one more example. Uh, an image, image has pixels, picture element. So this is x and y. So it's a spatial domain. So if certain things are not easily understandable or representable in a spatial domain or a time domain, why not to transfer them into frequency domain? Frequency is what number of oscillation per second or num certain numbers. How many times that number has occurred, has come? So the basic thing is that if you are not learning something, go to tutor. If you are not understanding something in the time domain, why not to change it into the frequency domain? So the total idea of Fourier analysis is this only. That is, the time domain. The Fourier analysis converts from time domain to the frequency domain. And then we analyze the signal. Before I go ahead, let me tell tell you about this gentleman. He is Jean Baptiste Joseph Fourier. As I said, the last R is not spoken. From 1768 to 1830. Now he gave a very crazy idea. Why it was called a crazy idea? Because he said any periodic function can be rewritten. As a weighted sum of sines and cosines of different frequencies, he said that if certain function is there which is periodic, it can be written as the weighted sum of sine term and cosine term. Now most of the people didn't understand, and those who understood, they didn't believe. The big names like Lagrange, Laplace, Poisson, all the big wigs. They didn't believe it. Not until 1878, when it was actually his thought was actually translated, and it came to be true, and that was called now as the Fourier series is the basis of all the digital communication. So this is the expression he formed. You can say a formula. You can say an expression, and he said that a time-varying periodic signal. Now the signal has to be periodic. This can be represented as a series of frequency components or harmonics. He said a function has to be there, uh, say a GT function. It is changing with time, and it has a period of t. That is, every t, every uh, every time after t, it will repeat itself. That is why it is a periodic function. So, for example, sine function or a cosine function, it will always repeat itself after two pi, three hundred and sixty degree. The so sine and cos are periodic functions. So he said, any function which is periodic, this can be constructed. This can be written as the sum of number of sines and cosines. He also said it has to be weighted. Final, this expression has come. This is the expression he said. So let me tell you what all are here. You have to concentrate on sine and cos term. The sine term is there. What is the weight? A n, A sub n. The cos term. What is the weight? B sub n. And what is the constant term? C by two. Now the f here is the f is as I said. It, it has to have a time period. It is a periodic function. The frequency is number of oscillation per second. Frequency is one by time period. This is the fundamental frequency of that particular function. A n and B n. These are sub. These are the sine and cosine amplitudes. You can also call it as, in a not normal mathematical terms, coefficients. So you say here, a n and b n. 
these are the sine and cosine amplitudes of the nth harmonics they are not just harmonics they are the terms we call it harmonics here basically you will put n equals 1 that will be first harmonic n equal to 2 next harmonic like this and what is the constant c is the constant this will just determine the mean value of the function normally whenever we derive something we always think that everything is from the origin but this constant has been added to experience the real life term okay now let me just write here uh, any term say 5 sin i am writing just theta 5 sin theta plus 12 cos theta so this is the weighted sum of sin and cos what is the weight of sin 5 what is the weight of cos 12 this can be your first harmonic if you put n equals 1 let me say that if i am putting n equals 2 it can become it just can become 12 sin theta plus 13 cos theta i am just taking a random expression so these are harmonics 12 is the weight 13 is the weight 12 is weight for sin theta 13 is the weight for cos theta and this kind of decomposition is nothing but the fourier series fourier series now this is the expression fourier has given now the question comes how to find out this an and bn all these are sub okay subscript a and b n and what is the constant term so fourier he also gave us the expressions for these three constants from fourier series the function can be reconstructed and vice versa so this g t or any function you take we are taking function as g t which is a which is our periodic function we'll take an example also so from fourier series the function can be reconstructed and please note the sigma or the addition is from 1 to infinity. What I am trying to suggest is that if period t, that is time period is known, the frequency, the amplitudes are known, that is the coefficients, the original function of the time, this can be found, this can be retrieved by performing the sum of this equation. That is why it is 1 to infinity. When you actually run it from 1 to infinity, all these terms with the coefficient, you will get the actual function. So the data signal with a finite duration, this can be handled by imagining that the entire pattern is repeating. That is why we are calling it, it as a periodic function. That is from t to 2t will be same as 0 to t will be same as 2t to 3t. Right? Now the question comes, how to find out this constant terms a n b n and uh, the c term constant term it's quite easy it's all uh, you know trigonometry trigonometric expression we'll use and it's quite easy just have to multiply the whole expression which you see here by sine 2 pi k f t multiply both side by sine 2 pi k f t and just integrate with the period that is from 0 to t so when we integrate it, whole expression multiplied by sine 2 pi kft, what do we get? We get a n because all the term of b n will vanish. This is simple trigonometry. I'm not going into the detail, just letting you know that how to find out this a n. Similarly, b n, b sub n, same thing will happen. Now multiply the whole expression. Because earlier we multiplied with sin 2 pi kft. Now we'll multiply the whole by cos 2 pi kft. Same thing. Again we will integrate it from 0 to t. And now we will get b sub n. Because all the term containing a sub n will be cancelled. Will be 0. And how about finding the constant? a n we found. b n we found. First we multiplied by sine, then cosine. In order to find out the constant term, we just integrate both the side with the period. And finally, we will get the constant term. So this all was done by Fourier. And all these operations, the final, the coefficients, or you can say the harmonics, a n, b n, and constant term, the expression is what you see here. Right? You can call it harmonics here. But these are the different terms.